Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We jumped there, and we're still hanging on. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up. What? All right. More combat drone, please. Keep shooting at the weapons. If their shields are up, then they'll get theirs. But I would first like to prioritize them not shooting us. Because they don't have any other way to hit us. Please, no. Keep going. Stay disabled. Ah, we're not getting as much damage through because we're not shooting the shields directly. We'll hit them that time. There, now they have no shields. Get in as much damage as you can. Shoot them, their shields are partially damaged. Yep, just gotta alternate. I'm just worried about both of them coming back online. Because this only lasts five seconds. But it fires so fast. We win. If you would shoot them one more time, their shields are recharging. What are you doing? No fuel. No visit location. This area of the nebula seems entirely empty until a small slug transport and its escorts emerges suddenly from the from through the clouds, only to disappear again in a matter of seconds. Unvisited location. We're near the edge, so even if we have to wait, we should be far enough away from their advance. A slug ship, a rogue, you suspect, approaches, but when he sees your Federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. Slug light cruiser, relationship hostile. Wow, they've actually got a pretty mean setup here. Two double aired shields and tons of health. Should we board them? I can't see inside their ship, but I can't imagine slugs are good at fighting. Well, if they're gonna try and attack us there, then we'll take that out. Pop a point out of our oxygen temporarily and send over a boarding drone. This is us trying new things. They take damage from it emerging in there too. Let's keep shooting their shields. Their shields, they feel the pain. Oh, the oxygen too. The oxygen is gonna kill the slugs. Or lack thereof. Now we, now we power up the other one. Cloaking. Yes, keep hitting the shields. Keep hitting the weapons. We can handle even bad situations like this. Sweet. No shields for you. And no engine. Ah, oh, we missed. But no longer. Just two more points. Yeah, with one point of all, you have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? Not really. They explode. You got fuel. And two missiles. And 44 scrap. I would like to upgrade it so that we can have both of these. I really, really want both of these. Upload 10 seconds for 30? Oh, but it requires two power. This is good. 15 seconds. This is crazy good. More system power. If we get one more on here, we could do both. We'd have to take power out of the engine or something. But we could do it. Just in case we'll have this. Just in case. If I if we were like, oh crap, things are going bad. Oxygen's at 10% and we're all about to die. Then we'll drop that in there and be like, wow, look everybody, we're not dying anymore. Temporary cloak the ship, halting enemy weapon charge. And our evasion is crazy. Have you guys leveled up at all yet? It's just the attack person. Because we attack so fast. 
This thing shoots so crazy fast, he's already super awesome at it. So we charge 20% faster still. Oxygen, I like it when you recharge. We can jump one more time. What's his name? Okay, it's Magni. Never mind. I was like, what? Distress. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. You know, I know the feeling. We're kind of, we're kind of out of fuel. I was going to ask them for fuel. The vessel's relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Date what? First of all, this is amazing. Two missiles for three joint parts. But at the same time... We're gonna have to wait. A freighter suddenly arrives nearby. They are so close you can almost wave at them. But your hails are ignored and the ship quickly jumps away. What a jerk. Oh... Uh, the only ship within hailing range appears to be a civilian vessel. However, it quickly leaves once it picks up your signal. Everyone's such a jerk! Fleet delayed by one jump. You begin to wonder if turning on the beacon would be worth the risk of detection. The fleet slowly approaches. Waiting, but they're not moving this time. Gladly trade. A modified YT 1300 freighter jumps, across, jumps to an area near your sector. Your gut tells you that these people are smugglers, but they seem to be feeling altruistic. And present an offer of assistance. Could I just kill them? Oh. I'll gladly trade you one drone part for life. Fane. Oh, we're in trouble. We're up here. Explored location. Nothing left of interest. I don't know if we can jump fast enough. This thing's going to be covered. I think we're going to have to fight another one of those super ships again. A slug passenger hit ship hills. And the music gets exciting. Please, your worthy alien highnesses. We are unarmed and seeking asylum. You approach cautiously, and weapons immediately spring from their hall. Yeah, huh? I know how you guys operate. And we're going to return favor. We're going to take one point out of that if the button gets smaller. Put these into powerful drone things. When we get to the next ship, if we have to fight them, we will power up both of these. But in the meantime, activate cloaking. Pew -pew -pew. Your shields and stuff, they're so incapable of firing. Really? You had two little laser weapons? And one... Wow. Like, why did they think this was a good idea? You're gonna attack me with this? Oh no! Not that guy missing twice. Oh no, we're missing too, but the see, whenever we miss, we just hit their shields next time anyway. They don't have oxygen. I wonder if they need oxygen. Their weapons are back. Their cockpit is a little bothered, though. And they never got their shields back. And that's the story of how the slug interceptor blew up. You don't just attack me for no reason and get to live. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. You didn't get any fuel. I love hearing that. We need more power. Exit, we're gonna be right on the border. Can we do this? The long range beat is almost hidden. Ooh, we're, oh. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we died. The brave heroes were enveloped by the fleet. The rebel fleet is caught up to you. You detect significant fuel reserves in one of their closer freighters and move into attack. Maybe you can still pull this off. You better believe it. If we're out of fuel, then how do these engines help at all? I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to shoot their shields. Why do they have boarding? They're gonna board me with mantis people. Cloak! 
They're attacking oxygen. Who needs oxygen? Let's kill them first. We just need to do as much damage. Like, we can handle these people. I don't care about some damage to our ship. Okay, that's a problem. Now we need to put points into healing so that we regenerate as we fight them so we can make up our disadvantage. Keep firing them and keep taking other weapons too. Ah, you make it attack 20% faster though. How about I take this off here and put that under there? Does that make you heal faster? You need to go to the med bay. I'm not about to lose somebody. Go, full speed ahead. Our oxygen's kind of a problem. Ah, well, the droid was destroyed, which means we can put this back into the engine. Our combat drone can't be destroyed, however. Oh, the problems that are beset it. You can go back there and fight them now. They're so healthy, we don't do any damage. You need to keep fixing that. Keep shooting that. Oh, their weapons are completely broken. That that thing messed up their ship so bad, and they sent everybody that could have fixed it over here. That's actually something. Actually, you while you're over here, why don't you go in there? I want to see what the inside of their ship looks like. There's fires! And there's no oxygen in the oxygen room, so they can't repair it. They're actually in terrible condition. I had no idea. Oh, they, they went back. That's right, we sent that, dro that drone over there, and it just completely ruined their day. That's great. Even if you guys fix it, you don't get your stuff back because I'm ioning it. And you're getting shit all... You shot the hell. All the while. I can't believe how much red there is on their ship. Like, you guys actually lost? Four fuel. You managed to retrieve a f few precious fuel capsules. You hurry to jump away from the cruiser fire. Oxygen. Oxygen. Oh, it's actually broken. Oh, it's actually broken. 10% oxygen, it's actually broken. Return crew to save positions. I'm so glad they can heal from anywhere on the ship. That is such a neat addition. I really like this and everything we have and everything we do. Repair it. I'm also really happy that worked out so well. They had to dedicate the resources on their ship to fighting our boarding drone instead of being able to actually fix their ship. And the cloaking was neat, too. I imagine that helped. So now we can jump back to the next sector. Pirate-controlled and pirate-controlled. If they're both pirate-controlled, this gives us options. They're both unidentified, but if we go to this one, we have to go to this one. If we go here, we might be able to go here. And who knows, that might actually be better or something. A few Federation-friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so be careful. Ah, I love pirates! If they're everywhere, then that means we get to kill them everywhere. Store... Fuel... A few small ships are selling you stuff. You bought their fuel. Crew teleporter's cool. Anti-ship beam. Required power too. That's also really cool. Anti-personnel drone will seek out and attempt to destroy intruders on board your ship. Mm, I think we can actually store like four things on our ship or something. Anti-personnel things that board our ship. Like this would be awesome. Because whenever people board our ship, that's the problem. Like, our people are all bad at fighting. Stealth weapons. Prevent your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. Allowing you to shoot at while cloaked. Okay, so that ends the cloak early. I had no idea. Prevent your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. Allowing you to shoot at... Shoot at will while cloaked. Okay. I think we're going to want that. We're not too damaged. We have the fuel already. I want this. And I want this. But the cloak's really powerful. And modifying that seems like it would be good. 
So is that just on right now? Stealth weapons, yep. Okay, so we can actually fire while that's up. And now it's not just me being crazy. Exit. Yeah, we can just kind of ping pong around here. Not too far from the beacon, you detect a destroyed cargo ship with its cargo scattered nearby. Intruders! Once you bring the cargo onto your ship, a pirate bursts out of one of the crates, saying, Ugh, oh, I was getting cramped in there. Oh yeah, prepare to die. Immediately after this battle cry, your ship is filled with the sound of crates breaking open. I should have brought the anti-personnel thing. This is what happens when you don't buy that. Why do they always go for oxygen? What would you guys do if we didn't have oxygen? You would die. No, you go in there. You're better at fighting. They're a human. And our, our healing systems are all fully online. Oh, we'll just be ready to swap out then. So you move out here. And then you move back in. Hey, could you... Uh, oh, I can't actually move you from one part of the room to the other. I was like, why won't you move over here? Do what I tell you. That healing... It is actually healing faster. That's so amazing. Everybody return to your positions, please. So, we got boarded. And the thing that sucks is that they were completely unarmed. Or... But they didn't have any... We, we didn't get scrap or anything. But either way... Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.